Hey, what is up guys? It's me, I'm Aturi Kill, and I'm bringing you a new video on FIFA 15, but this isn't gameplay guys, this is actually a video on the news and the rumors of it. Basically, I went on a site of the um, FIFA 15 calendar, and basically this one site, these guys basically, uh, I don't know if they guessed or not, but they basically predicted on what was going to happen, and they said that more than 95% of the FIFA calendar dates were right. So they were accurate with the information they gave. So basically, here it says, important. The date on green boxes are official. The date on the red boxes are not confirmed dates. They are estimated dates. Meaning that it might happen. There were rumors that the web app wasn't gonna be wasn't gonna be up for FIFA 15. There were rumors about that. Uh, there were rumors of many things, but let's see what the calendar says, and hopefully, it can pump you guys up to uh, some FIFA 15 gameplay. All right, guys. First things first. We're gonna go by a little bit at a time. So. The 9th of September, meaning in about one week, the demo will launch. So, they don't even know if this is true yet. The demo will launch. The 12th, the web app will be released. The 15th, EA Sports FIFA Companion app released for FIFA 15. I have no idea what this FIFA Companion app is, so don't ask me, guys. But if you guys want to check out this website, I'll definitely leave a link in the description. The 17th, guys, that's when the Team of the Week will be released. The first Team of the Week of FIFA 15. So basically, during the web app, you guys are going to see it. The 19th, the Early Access, meaning the EA ticket, will be available for North America. The 20th will be for Europe. And then the 23rd, it will be released in America. The 25th, supposedly there's going to be an update. I don't know if that's true or not. And then the 25th, uh, official Latin America. Uh, that's weird. All right. So basically, here it just says release dates. So the green means that it's true. The red, they're not too sure about. So let's watch these ones. All right, guys. Um... I highly recommend buying the EA Sports ticket. The only reason is, if you guys want to start out your Ultimate Team fresh, if you guys want to get some games going on Ultimate Team, see how it feels, see how it is playing against other people online, I highly recommend buying it. It's only $20, and plus, you get packs once every week. You get, I think, 35 packs or something. You get 35 Ultimate Team packs. You get that for a week. Like, once a week. So, it's already, that's already 35 weeks you get the uh, packs. So, they, they're they estimating that the price value for the packs is $35 on how much, you're, like, how much they're worth. So, if you guys buy $20 worth, you're actually making a profit on, on packs. So, I think it's highly... It's better to actually get the season season ticket because if you guys want that experience, if you guys want to play the game four, five days before release date, I highly recommend it, guys. And about the uh, EA Sports FIFA Companion, I have no idea what it is. But, guys, once FIFA 15 comes out, on my Twitch channel, I will be doing some uh, wage. Uh, I don't even know if I can even do wager matches. I'll be doing giveaways, guys. I'll be playing my viewers. So if you guys want to tune in, just go down in the description. There is my link. But all right, guys, thank you for everything. I will see you soon. Peace.